Hi guys, welcome to our daily encounter. In Psalm 29, we have the strength and the power of God being spoken about. And the psalmist uses a powerful storm to describe it. First, his strength is mentioned in verses 1 and 2 where it says, Ascribe to the Lord, O sons of the mighty, ascribe to the Lord glory and strength. Ascribe to the Lord the glory due to his name. Worship the Lord in holy array. Now he talks about ascribe to the Lord glory and strength. And we'll see that strength being mentioned again at the end of the psalm as well. But in between, there's this depiction of God's strength and power, his voice being compared to a powerful storm. It starts in verse 3, The voice of the Lord is upon the waters. The God of glory thunders. The Lord is over many waters. The voice of the Lord is powerful. The voice of the Lord is majestic. The voice of the Lord breaks the cedars. Yes, the Lord breaks in pieces the cedars of Lebanon. He makes Lebanon skip like a calf and Syrian like a young wild ox. The voice of the Lord hews out flames of fire. The voice of the Lord shakes the wilderness. The Lord shakes the wilderness of Kadesh. The voice of the Lord makes the deer to calve and strips the forests bare. And in his temple, everything says glory. Beautiful, beautiful language to describe the strength and the power of God and using this storm uh, to really depict it. And uh, there's few times in our lives where we really get to experience power, like when we get caught in a storm. Uh, you can imagine how powerful storms are as uh, the wind, the winds gust and, and debris is flying everywhere. Trees are toppling over. Uh, you could think about the torrential rain that comes down and then the floods uh, that come and even sweep away houses and buildings. Uh, you could also think about the thunder that roars and shakes the ground. Uh, storms are very, very powerful. And they're a great illustration for the power and the strength of God. And the psalmist does it here. And he does so beautifully. And so again, the, the uh, psalmist is bringing to the forefront of our minds the power and the glory of God. But then listen to what he does at the end of the psalm. In verses 10 and 11, it says, the Lord sat as king at the flood. Yes, the Lord sits as king forever. The Lord will give strength to his people. The Lord will bless his people with peace. He mentions strength again, but this time talking about the Lord giving strength. At the beginning, we saw that the Lord had strength and we saw that uh, depicted through this storm. But then we see that the Lord actually supplies that strength to his people. And what that ought to do for us is really encourage us to, to say, you know, the same God whose strength and power and glory is demonstrated in these powerful storms is the same God who can give us of his strength and his power uh, to meet our daily needs. Uh, this should, should encourage us, that, you know, when we think about these powerful storms to say, you know what, the God that created that powerful storm promises to give me strength also not just give strength to the storms but strength to his people and if we will but trust in the strength that God can supply how much ready can we walk out that door knowing that we have God's strength to fully supply us with everything that we need to meet the day and if we can but wrap our minds around that and really let that soak in I think it would help us to be more confident as we engage in the in the day-to-day -day struggles and trials of life and, and, and even in some of the more difficult challenges in life. So today, let's reflect on this illustration by the psalmist. Let's reflect, reflect on the power of a storm. The thunder roaring, the lightning flashing, the waters uh, sweeping away, uh, even powerful structures or, or strong structures. And let's think about the power and the glory of God. And then remember that the Lord has promised us to give us of that power and that strength in our own lives. And let that come out in confidence and in trust as we go throughout our day uh, and meet the various challenges that we meet there. So there's some things we can reflect on and think about as we do our reading today. With that, guys, I do thank you for watching the video today. Hope you guys have a great day. Love you guys.
God bless.